Hi there, I'm Sarah from Great Days by Sarah and the creator of the Great Days for Mom Method, a 12-week transformational program that empowers you moms to make your own health a priority for just 2% of each day. Send me a message if you want more, some more information. Today, I'm calling this All Core No Crunches. So I've had a lot of requests for a lot of mid-body work, hence summer, this tends to come out a lot. This is a very common request. But it doesn't serve as a purpose to do a million crunches. I want to show you how to incorporate core into everything else you can do to work your whole entire body, not just this one specific spot. Because overall, you can't just burn calories right here. You got to do the whole system. Let's get warmed up. Let's start with those feet wide. Arms come up. Reach one hand towards the opposite foot and then come back up. So hips go back slightly. Opposite arm reaches up. One more each way. Let's twist it out. Maybe move your feet in a little bit. Start to warm up through your spine. You don't need any equipment for this workout today. Just your body weight and this much space. Let's walk it out, quad stretch little pull, step it forward. If you have room to walk, walk it out. If you don't, just lift one up press it, and press it down. We have 10 different moves we're doing today. Hamstring kick outs. Kick it out, scoop it up. We're only going through each move one time. So once you get it, hit your max range of motion or your max height of hold, because we're not coming back. Last one each way. Let's go arm circles. One goes back and then the other. Opening up through those shoulders, opening up through your chest. Get water when you need to today. As always, do what feels good for your body. But the whole time, I'll be giving you reminders. One, to breathe, as always. And two, to think about your core in a different way today. So a lot of times when you think about our core, it's just here. But really, it's our, these awesome obliques and all the muscles that wrap around our back also that help hold us up, hold our posture, really hold us together. So we're gonna get started with a sumo squat and a tilt. So you turn your toes out, my timer today. Try one sumo squat. So you're gonna go down, making sure your knees are going out towards the side, tailbone drops as low as you can, and then we're gonna tilt. So we're gonna hold in that position and tilt side to side. So the upper body will be hands behind your ears, tilting, elbow towards your thigh. They don't need to touch. Go where you feel it today. So find the squat and then tilt back and forth. Maybe it connects, maybe it doesn't. Your goal, keeping your spine long, dropping your tailbone towards the floor and breathing. Starting with these obliques today. So they say hello and we know where they are. Right here, crunching that bottom rib towards your hip. Can you sink a little bit lower? You're almost there. We got five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up, straighten those legs, fold it down. We're on to our mat for our next one. We're going bridges. So working our glutes, the front part of our body, as well as our back. This one's slow and steady. So you slowly go up. You slowly come down, but not fully relaxing on the mat. Our thighs stay parallel in the shape of this 11s. And we squeeze. Bring your attention to these very, very low abs and keep them engaged as we move slow.
tucking your tail under will help you engage more if you don't feel it. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it up slowly to a stand. Adding a squat, ready? We're down low for our squat, oblique twist. Sink low, opposite side, twist. So if you're looking for a little more cardio today, pick up your pace, but sink low. Be mindful of that twist. Exhale when you twist. Get that full range of motion, whatever that means for you. Does your elbow touch your knee? Does it come to the outside of your knee? You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Come back down onto the mat. Number four, crab toe touches. So my palms are down on the mat, fingers away from me, come up into this type of bridge, reach one hand, opposite foot. Keeping your core tight, trying not to sway all over the place. But I realize that balance is a challenge. If you can't reach your toe because of hamstring tightness, that's okay, just reach in the air. Send a laser to grab that toe. Excellent job. Arms should be feeling this. I told you we can work our whole body with still working our core. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Stay down on the mat, just roll it over. And we're gonna go into a bear plank. So they're gonna be bear plank walkouts. Find yourself in the tabletop. And then just lift your knees. This is bear. Bear plank, you can walk out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. If that, keep going, if that's too tough, drop your knees, lift one leg, the other leg, drop one, the other one. Especially if you've recently had a child and your core is pretty non-existent right now, this is a great one to start with. So use whatever modification works for you. That modification is great because it's teaching your body to re-engage through that section. Five, four, three, two, one. Staying down. Shake out those wrists, turn it over. Russian twists. Sit up tall, tip it back. We reach and reach. So it's a little twist or it's a big twist. What do you need today? Heels on the ground, you want more? Lift them up. My hip flexors do not like that. I will be putting mine back down on the ground. I want to just feel it through my core today, through my midsection. Exhale as we twist. Two, one, relax it, flip it back over. We're in a plank, we're gonna do shoulder taps. What it will look like, I'll show you from the front. Tap, down, tap, down. You can modify from your knees here, trying to minimize that sway in your hips. You can be up on your feet. Join me whatever one you want today. Maybe you start from your feet. Trying to minimize that sway. Your body will shift. There's a weight shift. That's natural. But engaging your core so the sway isn't the emphasis. If you're modifying, you're just here. Driving that tail or driving your uh, pubic bone towards the floor so you're not in a tabletop position. You're still in a plank.
five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. We're going high knees for the jumping jack. They're called high knee jacks, not necessarily jumping jack. We'll come up, we come down underneath. Come up and down underneath. Your chest is moving towards your knee as it comes up, I'll show you from the side. So it's like a standing crunch almost. Pick up the pace if you can, but remember you're focusing on the core. So arms long and strong, you get a little bit of bicep, tricep, shoulder and back work through this one. And then activate that foot as your knee lifts, point your toe. There's a new part of me, part I want you to see. That's five, four, three, two, one. Done, coming back down onto the mat. For our last two, twisting side plank. I'm starting on my forearm. I'm staggering my feet and you'll see why in a moment. Come up to the side plank, then drop that other forearm down, replace it up to the other. You can see immediately why staggering your feet is easier than stacking them. They kind of roll back and forth. So my hips and my chest face one direction and then the other. Moving smoothly. Hitting those obliques last time. Excellent, you got this. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down, we have one final one. If you have a water bottle, grab it. Mine is tall, I'm gonna regret this one today. Over the water bottle, leg lifts. Knees bent, knees straight. Coming up, coming over. One at a time, two at a time, or straight legs. You can lean back on your hands. I like this one on my forearms. And I exhale every time I drop, and I inhale as I come up. And this is our last one. Break when you need to break. This is a tough one, but then rejoin as soon as you can. You got this. Point those toes, especially if your legs are straight. You're so close. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Lay it back, stretch it long. And then we're gonna roll over onto our tummies for Sphinx. So if being on your stomach is not an option for whatever reason, and you can't come into Sphinx here, come up onto your knees. And this is only if coming on your tummy is not an option. Arch back this way, eyes towards the sky, still finding that opening, but you're not putting your pressure on your front side. We're gonna come right down, rest your ear to one side, and then reach back towards that same side and pull. So the side you're looking towards is the side that you're pulling your foot towards your glute and getting that quad stretch. Try to relax through your neck so it too can feel a stretch. and then switch it over other side. Plant your other ear, grab your foot, pull your heel towards your glute, and find that stretch. Let it go slowly, press on up to a seat, straight legs out, toes towards the sky, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fall with a flat back to start and just reach where your hands fall. So the goal is not touching your head to your shins. Find the length first, and now begin to walk out, round it out. How far can you drop it? Remember 
reverse it, come on right back up. Hug one knee in, cross your foot over. Let's stretch out those glutes, they worked very hard today. Just pulling one in, leg in, should be feeling this through the back of that same leg. Sit up taller if you don't feel it. And then switch it out. Pull the other one in, give it a squeeze, sit up tall. Release it, find yourself in just to a comfortable seat. We'll do one last inhale together to seal everything in. All that power, all that core, hands me to the top. Thumbs come to that heart center. Thank yourself for showing up as always. All core, no crunches. I'll see you next week. Go have a great day.